And then... Why am I so bad? <laughs> and then... They go and re-release the goddamn game. And they make it so pretty. What do you want, Shirley? Hey? Eh? What do you want? Camera's a bit finicky. Did I already go behind her? Yeah. But now they actually have got them. Um... Where is it? There. Speeds for it, so. I can slow it down and. I have it so it tracks me. I don't think it was like that in the. <coughs> I don't think it was like that in the games. So I'm gonna have it as close to the game as I can. Just lower the speed a little bit. Uh, I don't even mind G'day, going Therese. through this again. Now, if I just reroute these wires to... I said g'day, mate. Oh, I am dead. Death. Oh, goodness gracious me. Oh, I didn't see you there. I was just making some last-minute adjustments. Well, 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 you must be Ty. Oh, yeah. G'day. So, you old coot. <laughs> What's this contraption do? <laughs> This contraption is the key to finding the talismans. Why is this so? It's quite simple, really. It uses an oscillatory microfeeder to scan for trace energy signals that match the unique power metrics of the talismans. Just had to let <sighs> my dog onto my bed. She's a pain in the bum. Oh. Ah. Oh. And thunder eggs are the key to powering the machine. Thunder eggs? Oh, they're as rare as hen's teeth, mate. Couldn't you just use batteries? <sighs> if only it was that easy. You see, this machine doesn't just find where the talismans are, it actually teleports them here. Struck me lucky. And that, my friends, requires a great deal of energy. So, uh, how is Ty here going to find all these thunder eggs? Eh, hey, I was just wondering that myself. When you're quite done. A reasonable question. I've created these portals to lead Ty to areas rich with them. Of course, they won't just be lying all over the place. Just our luck. A lot of them will have already been found. The trick will be convincing the locals to part with their prized possessions. But I'm afraid I can't help you with that. If you're as resourceful as they say, Ty, I'm sure you'll think of something. Righto, Ty. There's no point in mucking about. You've got to find a second boomerang. I'll see you in two up. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna get to see the first level all over again in entirely new light. Look at the grass. Look at the grass. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so happy. They slightly edited that. This billabong has got the lot. Gum trees, wallabies, and even a koala. <laughs> There's plenty to do here, so let's get a move on. Good. I love how this boomerang went first. Listen, mate, I solved your problem. I found you a second boomerang. That's great. 
Where is it? See that tree over there? Well, it's not yeah. there. Well, it's not there. Right. Well, where is it? It's on top of Frill Neck Peak. That's it. Oh, right. Oh, don't worry. You'll just have to jump, run, rang, and bite your way there while avoiding Boss Cass's henchmen. Look, mate, life wasn't meant to be easy. Alright. Oh, God. Look at this. The shadows. Oh, yeah. Oh. <sighs> you know, as soon as I started PC gaming, I was just like, oh, why am I going to get in another game like this? Beauty, Butler, Bonza, I got one! That was easy. Yeah, 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 one down, 71 to go. <laughs> Come on, let's get a move on. <laughs> oh, yeah, I didn't think that it'd be loud. Oh. That was weird. Very weird. I reckon those dunnies are a complete waste of space. <laughs> Only last week I used one, walked two blocks, was clobbered by a frill, and then woke up back on the dunny. Which was the best place to be, given the surprise I got. Shit jokes. Julius reckons it's got something to do with the space-time conundrum. conundrum. But if you ask me, it's a I load think of it's dust. a load of bull dust. So, you're saying that if I have an accident, I'll end up back at one of these? Something like that. Oh, look at the game. It's going to be so weird looking at it with, like, shadows now. I... Do you rem not remember shadows being in the other version? Truth Fuck you. you got a fair set of choppers on you. I was just about to buy it as well. You could put them to good use by pressing, pressing the, the buy button. button. <laughs> Get it? Choppers. Bite button. <laughs> Never mind, Ty. Move on. Have a go at those crates. <laughs> it gets a little low framey here and there, but that's nothing unusual for it. It's an early access game anyway. He reckons you can use your rings to take care of enemies and smash things. Shoot Ripper! He said something now, wait a minute, he said something about pressing the throw button to use them. I'll tell you what. If they release... The other games, I am buying them and playing them. I'll even back. I just kind of accidentally skipped. Oh, it's completely skipped. Oh, no. Not more cages. I wonder why it's being like that. For some reason, my uh, dig story is also freaking out. I'll wait for it to just. What happened here? Boss Cass did this. He's caged all your bilby mates and hidden them across the land. Oh, yeah? Well, big mistake. No one messes with my mates. Now, there's a thunder egg in each area if you free them. No worries. Unless you're Boss Cass. Yeah, fuck that guy. Oops. Don't really need to. Oh. I want to collect every uh, opal. I can't remember what they're called. I think opal's the right one. I'm trying to get every golden cog as well. 
They've got a lot more bloom to them. I don't know if it's true, but I heard about this bloke who found 300 opals, then took them to Opal. Julius's opal machine. Anyway, something weird happened, and he ended up with a thunder egg. <laughs> Righto. He gives me sound advice, and I just shake it off. They are a lot better hidden. When emulating it, it was, they were too easy to find. Then again, I did remember where half of them were anyway, but that's besides the point. Remember the uh, switching buttons? I could switch them over, but no. Nah. Uh, he basically tells you about chain buying. Oh my god. I can't get over how nice it looks. Everyone else will be there like, fuck you one Alex. But, my god. Me and my little brother used to play this quite often. We'd just take it in turns and every time one of us failed we'd switch over actually on the playthrough I did I didn't go up and get this one I just I noticed it then but I did get this guy I'm wondering how I've failed that hard. The bloom, though. Yes, yes. This just might do. Get I, Julius. Oh, hello, Di. You, you know this golden cog just might be perfect for my latest invention. The cogulaceous boom rangorous extrapolator. Right. What's that? Why, it's a machine that creates experimental techno rangs. I need golden cogs to build a new one. Fifteen, to be exact. And if you find enough, bring them to my lab in Rainbow Cliffs, and I'll build you a new boomerang. Awesome. You're on, mate. There is a lot of talking in this game. <laughs> but I guess it's, it's one of them well-done ones. There's... This game, as I mentioned like repeatedly in previous recordings, it may not have brought anything, you know, new to the table. Like, uh, Crash. Basically invented the platforming games, despite it being awkward as fuck with me. <laughs> to anyone that hasn't seen that series yet, you'd understand when you watch through it. Oh god. Slowly remember. God, it looks pretty. Decoy, flashbang, let's get them off. I'm in position. Let's give it to the boys. Decoy, flashbang, cover me, son. Roger that. Back up, laying down smoke. Decoy, flashbang, let's get them off. 